What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here to talk about the data download that happened today uh, introducing the Ichiban Kuji celebration which is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to. For those of you who have no idea what this is, this was a collaboration that happened on Japan quite a while ago which introduced these characters uh, for a collaboration with a company that creates figures for One Piece characters and uh, there was this collaboration you know introducing a brand new Luffy character and there's also a brand new Nami character. These particular units are pullable on this banner and these characters are actually pretty good but not only is there this Sugo Fest to promote these new characters that you can pull for but the Sugo Fest features some really powerful units as you can see on each of these banners here and there's going to be a free to play event which we can farm for which grants us really good items such as almighty manuals and also some pirate rumble scrolls which we'll talk about in just a moment but before we get into that I want to talk about the Sugo Fest because you know, this is one that a lot of people have been looking forward to because the character is is actually really good for the amount of gems that it actually costs to get this character. We'll talk more about it as we go along, but we can see with the Sugofest steps here, the first multi is discounted at 30 rainbow gems, then the second multi, now this is on part 1, but you're guaranteed to get Luffy on the second multi of part 1. That's really good. And then you've got a, a legend, then you've got a limited legend on the 4th, nothing on the 5th, but then you've got one on the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, Nothing on the 9th, but then the 10th is a limited pool legend, and there's just lots of like legend steps along the way. So if you like legit don't have any of these units, there's a good opportunity you're gonna get some really good stuff here. And then it's essentially the exact same Sugo Fest on part two, except that Nami is now guaranteed on the second multi of part two of the Sugo Fest. So many people are gonna ask, okay, what do these characters actually do? So let's go ahead and jump over. Um, this is gonna be debuting though on September the 5th, as you can see here at 1900 PST time. So right before the 11th of September, which we know 11th of September is going to be that big day of Luffy, Law, and Kid debuting on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. It's going to be a big one. I'm very much looking forward to it. But we can see the brand new character, Luffy, who is a five-star unit, not a legend, just a regular five-star character. But you can see he actually does have super typing. He is a strength free spirit fighter, captain effect of boosting all characters attack by 3.25 with a 1.3 health boost and sign int slots are going to be counted as beneficial with a super typing that you need to have one of the other straw hats on your crew and if you do launch his super type special it locks your orbs for one turn and then boost the orbs of all your characters by 1.75 times for one turn and you get super strength typing with a special on a 12 turn cooldown that does 100 times his attack and strength damage to all enemies, really good damage dealing special he also reduces paralysis and burn by three turns and then changes all colored slots into matching and then gives your crew a two times attack boost for two turns honestly a pretty good special ability that you can kind of just inject into a lot of teams it's a luffy character that can have really good supports on him as well uh crewmate effect he goes ahead and reduces all blindness by five turns he also will boost strength characters base attack and uh, he's got a support effect which just adds some stats to it's a terrible support effect and he does not have any abilities in pirate rumble either so luffy he's just kind of okay but he's definitely a unit you could use on a lot of teams alternatively though the nami is the one that a lot of people really want to get because Nami is way more valuable in terms of her usability as a sub. So this Nami is a Strength Striker Cerebral. Captain effect is pretty bad. It's like the exact same as Luffy, but a little bit nerfed in terms of the multipliers. 2.5 attack, 1.2 health, with a 12 turn cooldown that does 100,000 damage to all enemies. It also reduces charge time by one. It will also reduce bind and special bind by five turns and then reduce five turns of resilience. So a very good utility based special damage dealing and uh, cooldown reduction and he also uh, also with the with the crewmate effects that resist special bind by five and resist special reverse by two so this is that type of unit you can use to get around special reverse mechanics in certain fights so that's why this unit is very valuable and a lot of people are going to be tempted to be doing the two multis to get this character guaranteed myself personally i definitely will be doing two multis on this sugo fest to get this nami but if you are free to play i would still avoid this sugo Fest. As good as this Nami is, there are plenty of characters that are somewhat similar in a way. They don't do things exactly the same as this Nami, but the fact that you can get a character that's this good for two multis, I feel like it's a steal. If you are a 
player that likes to spend money on this game, I feel like doing just 80 gems worth of multis to get this Nami is definitely worth it. But of course, if you are the type of player that is more free to play or doesn't spend much on the game, you should be waiting until the 11th of September, 1900 PST time for when Luffy, Law and Kid make their debut in Treasure Cruise. Going over to the event island now, we can see that there are three new islands that are available. The first one here is, uh, is nothing too crazy, but these are all relating to the Ichiban Kuji celebration. And if you end up using the Luffy and the Nami from the Sugo Fest in these events, I think you get double drops or you get increased duplicate drops. Um, so that's really good. Um, you've got this one, which is a one stamina event. You can only play this once. So you've got like just some tomes and stuff, nothing special. The second one here, you got this one where it says certain characters will be powered up. Does it have any limit? I'm not too sure if there's any limits to it. I, I believe there might be. Uh, but this one, you can just farm skill books, which is like, again, like nothing too crazy. A bunch of the Ichiban Kuji characters and just like relatively recent rare recruit characters. And then you've got this one right here, which is the treasure hunt. This one's a really, really big one. Yeah, you can only play this one 30 times because you're able to get all of these skill books, silver and gold books for all the classes in the game. And then you can see you are able to get rumble scrolls. Now, one thing to note though, is that these rumble scrolls don't have that little flag, which says low rate. So I don't know what the rate of these gold flags are, but the fact that it doesn't have the low rate banner leads me to believe that you should be able to get quite a lot of these. So that's great. You're guaranteed to get a, so some support medals as well. I didn't even realize support medals are on here too. That's awesome. So this is going to be one of those events you probably want to be get to doing 30 runs. So ensure that, you know, you have as many of those dupe dropping units as you can. And I'm sure over the next couple of days we'll get a full announcement as to what characters are going to be getting that uh, increased drop rate or increased cooldown for these events and i'll be bringing you guys a video for this event as well and then also this is going to be debuting on global the versus shinobu arena so this arena is going to be debuting i believe on the 6th of September 1900 PST time so it's a day after the Ichiban Kuji celebration begins and this arena shinobu is is kind of interesting in the fact that you can see down the bottom here that there are shards crystals and orbs for her limit break so this is the first arena character that means that you have to farm every piece of material for this unit um, I'm not too sure how many you have to farm but I do believe that it means that you don't have to use normal materials on this character anymore but it also means that farming the units materials materials might take a little longer than usual but again i'm not too sure on the exact number of these materials you need to get a hold of so it's going to be a pain either way um but just letting you guys know that's how it's going to be moving forward for these arena units so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to max them out on day one but talking about shinobu in general shinobu is a very interesting unit uh, i don't know how much play she sees on japan but uh, i know that a lot of people when they first read the unit were a bit confused by it but it kind of makes sense when you think about the legend kid that's going to be debuting very soon on global. So Shinobu is a strength free spirit shooter character with a captain effect that boosts strength characters by 3x, 1.2 health, strength characters recovery in tandem slots of candidate is beneficial. It's not a crazy captain effect at all, but her special is interesting. It removes all beneficial effects on your crew and then it says it will go ahead and reduce bind and paralysis by three and deals 200 times her attack and strength damage to all enemies at the end of the turn for three turns so end of turn damage is really good that's a lot of damage by the way 200 times her attack and it says it boosts your cruise attack by 1.75 times for one turn as well when you activate the special but it also says if your cruise hp is 41 percent or above when you launch the special it's going to cut your health by 40 percent and then reduce the charge time of herself by seven turns it's a really weird effect but it allows her to cut your health to down to that really low percentage and then uh will give herself some more cooldown so you can use her special ability again later on if you want to do something like that i don't remember exactly what she maxes out at and i don't remember exactly what her potential abilities are but this type of unit uh is going to be interesting moving forward either way the artwork is great for this unit as well uh tandem slots are beneficial for herself support effect is only a stat boosting one that is actually unfortunate because we saw with uh, like arena frankie and san juan wolf bone kichi uh, even Kamazo, right they all had support effects that gave you some beneficial effect rather than just this um, a stat boosting support not that exciting at all 
and doesn't have any rumble abilities either. So yeah, this is a pretty boring arena. Not a big fan about this one. And of course, when this character debuts, I'll be bringing you guys a video uh, breaking down this particular event. But I know it's going to be a relatively tricky one. But anyways, that is going to wrap up this video today. Just wanted to bring you guys a video talking about all the brand new Ichiban Kuji celebrations so you guys know exactly what's going on. And of course, when this event debuts, I'll be bringing you guys a video talking about the seven star difficulty event to farm for those rumble scrolls, farm for the almighty manuals, and obviously farm for those support medals as well so that is going to conclude this video thank you so much for watching and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i will see you guys within the next video